about 6-6. Six, six. You ask questions, I try to answer them. Um, Grr73 asked the interesting question, which is, and I've heard this question before, it's not a new one, but it's an interesting one of, what if you go ahead and take your high volts, take two similar batteries, high volt and lipo, and, oh, thanks for the correction. I kept saying, apparently, lithium ion, and I mean, this is still, the high volts are still lithium polymer. They're not an ion. Lithium polymer. High volt, regular. So the question is, if you go ahead and take your, your high volt, um, but you only charge it to your regular LiPo, uh, so 4.2 instead of 4.35, what happens? So I repeated the test with um, these two cells, charged them both uh, to just regular voltage, the 4.2. And um, interestingly enough, the numbers on these two cells basically became pretty much the same. Um, so much so that I'm like, I'm kind of wondering if these might just be the same cell. I don't know. They're probably not, but we'll see. So, so yeah, the, the basically the numbers and the, um, the link below, I updated the spreadsheet. And so I added a column with um, uh, what I'm charging to, the voltage that I'm charging to and then the numbers and so on. And it's really hard to get the, you know, the testing absolutely consistent, but um, the numbers, basically, if you didn't charge this to a high volt, this cell started to struggle to get through the test where, you know, it was dipping down pretty low. I think it got down to 3.12, maybe even the lowest of all the batteries I've tested. Um, and then the finishing, you know, the charge at the end, the voltage at the end um, was essentially the same as uh, between the high volt and the lipo. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting. With the 600 versus uh, the 520, this cell basically even charged to the LiPo, the 4.2, still made it through the tests, made it did a little better than the 520. So um, I think there's something to these cells being a little better than the 520s, maybe just slightly larger capacity without really bumping up the weight a whole lot, which was kind of nice. So if they hold on, I do think you know, this adds one more point that these yellow cells, um, you know, with the higher C rating, the higher capacity, are probably legitimately a better battery than the 520. We'll see what happens, though, over time. It's going to be interesting. But I'm adding an element here. I've got two of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this one, um, the unmarked cell, to the regular 4.35 like I usually do. And then this one, which I put a L on there for low, I'm only gonna charge 4.2. So I'm gonna charge essentially these batteries the same to 4.2. And then we'll ask the question, what happens if you don't abuse the high volts by charging them to 4.35? What if you only charge them to 4.2? Are they gonna not fade away and disappear as quickly as um, they generally have in the past so for example these getting charged to uh getting charged to um 4.35 you know what happens if if we don't abuse the cells so i think that's going to be a little bit of an interesting um comparison to see how they hold on and see over several charge cycles what happens when you're charging to high volt versus regular light bulb so yeah, he asked an interesting question. Um, so, did the test, and the, again, the data itself is below in the spreadsheet. Obviously, very small numbers, and, and this is not the point that I'm the most interested in. I think once we beat these cells up and get them down to where, um, you know, they're more beat up and charged through several cycles, that's when I'm going to run more tests to see if I can reproduce the, you know, get more reproducible data, get a little bit more um, sure results. Um, but obviously, it's still kind of a small number. I do want to get more of these. Um, even though I don't... I'm guessing they're probably not that anything special. But I do want to get more to give them a fair chance. Because it would be nice if a LiPo performed really well and we could have good longevity. It would be a nice thing. And so, I guess it's worth exploring. Alright, until next time, cheers.